In this video, I'm not going to show you how to install the beam, how to build the roof. I'm just going to show you a few different angles to give you an idea of what would be required most of the time. And this video is basically going to be tied to the previous video on how to remove the lower section bottom cord ceiling joist should we say from a truss engineered roofing system and uh, create a vaulted ceiling now when installing a ridge beam like this and the post to support it along with a footing underneath a new footing uh, and that's right this this just isn't something you can just do without putting a concrete pad underneath it um, the posts because you're going to be taking a lot of weight and transferring it to you're going to be basically concentrating it on a small part of the building two small parts that so will require a footing some type of a new footing again this is why a structural engineer will be required before you do anything like this and this is a must like I said, I might be able to do something like this and it might work just fine, but I would never even think about it without hiring a structural engineer to provide me with everything that I would need to actually have the building last for a long time. So again, you can see with the pictures what you're basically doing. The beam will be, the ridge beam will actually be supporting the rafters and this wood. Um, reduce or even eliminate the possibility of the walls spreading and uh, possible collapse of the building. So again, I'm probably uh, getting a little carried away, uh, a little adding a little more drama than I should be to the problem here. But uh, if there is a possibility, that's the whole, you know, I can't tell you how many times I've seen somebody do something, the building still stands, you know. But uh, how long is it going to stand or how much wind, you know, a little bit of shake from an earthquake, uh, something like that, and the building could be on the ground or at least a section of the building. So, again, this isn't something that I recommend a novice doing, do it yourself or, you know, this is something that will require um, some type of structural engineering to uh, actually make sure that uh, you're doing it correctly.